All right. Whoa. Hey guys, I wanted to get this at an angle so that you could see me piecing together my sleepy time babies. Welcome to my channel. If you're watching the replay, please let me know that you're watching the replay. I'm trying to load this on my tablet so that I can read the comments separately. And I don't think I can... Let's see if I can find it. Anyway, okay, so I've got some Sleepy Time Babies that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to piece together with you guys on here. But I'm going to wait for a few more people to get on here. And I needed to get this at an angle so you guys could see what I was doing. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to have to turn the volume down on my tablet so that I can... Yeah, so there's no reverbs. All right. Chat publicly. There's going to be a delay when I watch this, which is going to be weird. But at least I can see chat publicly. Yes. Oh, where did it go? No, I don't want to make a message. I just want to be on here so I can read messages. Okay. What's it doing? Stop it. Okay. All right. I think I've got it set up good. All right. So I've got a camouflage baby that I'm going to piece together. And then this, like I said, I've got my tablet over here so I can read the messages. I just have to ignore the image so that, because there's a delay on my, <laughs> on that. I can't believe I actually made it at midnight tonight. All right, so I have a camouflage baby I'm going to piece together. I have a wobbly head baby. And this looks really cute when the wobbly heads are like this. Um, and then, of course, chat with you guys while I am piecing my babies together. So here's the other one. And I have three of them. The third one is this sparkly one. Sleepy time baby. And I, I have been requested to uh, show you guys how I make it in one piece. If you watched my last mid, excuse me, my last midnight makes, I did put a link for um, where I got the original pattern. In the original pattern, she makes these two pieces separately. I do them as one piece. And she does just the eyes. She doesn't do the mouth. And also, too, when I make my... I've changed the amount of stitches that I put here and the amount of stitches I put here. And also, I stitch the mouth and the eyes before I close it up. And then that way I don't have to hide any more tails and I can just tie it in. So, so I've got three babies to put together and I don't know how much I'm going to get done in the, um, in the hour that I'm going to be here with you guys. And I may not be on here a full hour, but I also have some jellyfish that I have to, uh, stuff and piece together. So here's one of them. The eyes turned out really cute. Now how I do the eyes is I will take, uh, embroidery floss. And I'll stitch, I'll stitch the eyelashes first and then put, because I know where I'm going to put my eyes, and then I'll put my eyes on top of it so it looks like it's part of it. So here's one. And I've got some when I do my next video for you guys. I'm going to show you the ones that I already have completed. Here's another one. Oh, and then my mouth is a little fiddly on that one. It's a little fuzzy. I need to clip the fuzzies off. So there's another one. And then... Here's one I just gave eyebrows to. I think this gives this one more character. And then he's got the little rufflies. But I, I've got all of his in, all their insides stuffed inside. So all I have to do is put the bottom on and stuff it. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. Um, I am able to read the comments better this time, guys. So if you guys want to comment, just please feel free. I have my tablet sitting over here so that I can read them. Now here is a gray, gray one with... Um, cartoon eyes. I didn't give this one eyebrows because I thought the cartoon eyes gave it enough character anyway. Um, and then the bottom part, unravel it. I've already pieced all the bottoms together so all I have to do is stuff the top part of it and stitch the bottom on so that and then what I do to finish it and complete it 
is I put a ribbon in the top. So, and those are safety eyes. Popped on there. So we're going to stitch that together. And that's the same yarn that I used with this. It's just this was at the lighter stage of it, and this was at the darker stage of it. So I've got that one to put together. I've got this baby blue one. This is just your basic. This one kind of looks like a ghost the way I did the mouth. It, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to have like these little curves on it, but I figure it gives it character. Somebody will want that at the store. All the jellyfish are going to my discovery outlets here in my town. This is one with eyelashes too. And the mouth gives it a little character. And that's a blue. And here's like an aqua color, light aqua color. This one, I like it just the way it is. It's before I decided to do eyebrows and before I started decided to do eyelashes. So there's that one. Um, oh. Here's a purple and blue one. I think this was a Karen cake if I'm not mistaken. It was um, not a Karen cotton cake because this got some wool in it. But it was a three, a three weight, I believe, for this one. Again, the eyebrows and the eyelashes give it character. Now, this one I had put in, now those were 16 millimeter eyes. This one I had put in the, I want to say nine millimeter eyes. But when I look at it, I don't know. I don't think the eyes are the same size. Maybe they are. But this one, I don't know. I may go back and, and give this one eyebrows or give it some more character. But let's look at the eyes. Let me take let me take its guts out. Oh, I did not piece the guts on this one. This one is how I used to do it before I'd piece it all together. I would fill in the bottom and then attach each one of these tentacles one at a time. But I found an easier way to do it. And uh, one day I'll show you guys how I did that. But... Now this one, I think, no, the eyes are the same size. They're just, I think I need to do something different with them. Not sure how I'm going to work with this one since I don't do it the way that I used to. Uh, and that's the old way of how I used to make the jellyfish. Oh, here's another one. It's a sparkly blue teal looking aqua one with little eyelashes. You can't see the sparklies yeah there you can now you can see the sparklies camera's not doing it justice the way the sparklies are if you get a chance hop on and say hi i'm doing my midnight makes which means i'm going to just chat with you guys when i can and uh work on my projects because like i said i here's some more eyelash ones with my rainbow sparklies because I work on my stuff till about 1 1 15 in the morning anyway so I might as well spend my time with you guys and I know not everybody stays up this late I'm just I just my mind goes to racing and wanting to create stuff and so that's what I do so I'm just sharing my time with you so what we're, 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 we're and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some stuffing and here's another really pretty one I like this one. This one's got different shades of, uh, I've got my hot light here. It's really bright. Maybe if I tone it down a little bit, it won't be so strong. So this one I've got, no, maybe, yeah, I guess I better turn it back up. You guys need to see these colors. It's just the, the hot lights washing them out, washing out the colors. Um, it's actually a very vibrant yellow and uh, peach and a pale lavender this is like a pale lavender but the, it's not showing up a pale lavender on the camera I, if you guys can hear me please let me know hello nightingale crochet nightingale huh so you're like me or are you on the the west coast and here's another two-tone blue one I think this one was done with the same, this is done with the same yarn as this one. It's just, it came out different. Great. Thank you so much. I'm glad you can hear me. Um, yeah, this one has eyelashes and this one has eyebrows. And I figured this would make a cute little pair for somebody that would, might want to get them for their kids. 
You're in Tennessee, too. Well, hello, Tennessee. I'm in Tennessee. I'm in the southeast Tennessee. Are you in southeast, or are you up north? Are you in the middle? We've got a long state. And then here's a... Here's one of the old ways I used to do it, and here's another. It's a green. I may not. I'm gonna set that one aside. I may not work on that one. And I'm gonna. I think those are the only two of the way that I used to do it. And then here's another one before I decided to do eyebrows. You're in Franklin County. I talked to someone. Oh, you're near Nashville then. Okay, you are about two hours northwest of me. I'm uh, in between Chattanooga and Knoxville. So, yeah, we're going to stuff this one. All the guts are on the inside. Hey, Crystal! Stopping me to say hello before I go into bed. Yes, we've got a date tomorrow! So, y'all make sure and join me and Crystal tomorrow on her channel. 7 o'clock Eastern time, six o'clock central time. All right. You can't see this, but there are a ton of projects for me to work on tonight, but I'm not going to get them all done tonight, but I am going to get them done while I'm talking to you guys. Yeah. Y'all make sure and join me and Crystal, the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. If you're not subscribed to her channel, please do. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, you can just click on her well, no, it doesn't show the messages. Hey, Krista, you're used to these lives. Does It It doesn't show the messages after, right? Because I didn't see any when I did it the other night. Oh, that's right. We've got another person that's going to be with us. That's interesting. Um, I'm referring to the live chat. Um, I I went back to check the messaging or rather the comments on the live that I did the other night. And I didn't see the comments from the live chat um, on the video itself when it downloaded, I guess. Okay, I guess I better put all these back because... I'm not going to have any room on my table if I don't. So, which do you guys want to see me put together first? Do you want me to see me put together a jellyfish or a doll? So, I've got three dolls and about ten jellyfish. Oh, and y'all, if you ever get a chance to work with this yarn, this has got to be... This is so soft. Oh, my gosh. It is like... Um, Nightingale Crochet says jellyfish. Hey, Doris. Glad you could join us. Uh, yeah, this is the, I want to say fleece. It's, um, was it lion brand? It, I don't think it was lion. Maybe it was lion brand, but it's, it's a fleece. But if you ever get a chance to work with this stuff, it is so awesome. I have to go into your YouTube studio, go to details, go to edit, and make sure live chat replay is checked no no i i have oh the live chat replay okay um yeah i did the doors wants to see me do the dolls okay so all right so i'll do a jellyfish first because it's the quickest and then i will do a doll and then we'll just rotate back and forth um but yeah this is uh I'm pretty sure this is called a fleece, and I think it's a lime. It's a discontinued, um, discontinued, but it is so soft. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is so wonderful. By default, the chat will not show. Okay. All right. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate it. I'll go back in there because I was like, I wanted to respond to some people that had sent me messages because I was doing it strictly from my phone last time. Um, this time, I have the tablet beside me so that I can read the messages as they come up. Oh, boy. Y'all know what, can you, y'all can't see this, can you? Oh, come on. Oh, really? He just, even when I'm doing my live, he's got to get in on this. What? You want to say hi? Here, I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to turn you around. You get on the table? No, you don't. Al, get your hand on my earring. You, you put your paw on my earring. All right. 
Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. You say hi. You gonna go night night? What are you sniffing? I don't have no food. Crystal says hi. Doris says hi. You say hi. Say hi. Hi. All right, you ready to get down? <laughs> uh, that, yes. You ready to get down. Okay, come up. Oh, oh, there you go. Get in your bed. He's got a little hut with blankets right beside me. Get in your bed. Come on. There you go. Go night night. Good boy. You go night night. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, this is what I'll do. All right. Do you want to see... Do you want to see me put together the blue one or the pink one? I'm going to have you guys interact with me. Do you want to see me put together the blue one or the pink one? Oh, i got to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the angles. But yeah, when I did it the other night, I had the camera, I had the stand right here, and it was facing this way, and my hands were around it, and I was doing my stitching. And apparently, I can't... All right, Crystal says pink, so we're going to do pink first. I can't... Um, I can't count at the same time, so I decided from now on the projects that I do while I'm live, or be, they will be, well, thank you, Doris. Yes, we're going to do the pink one. All right, so let's take its guts out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I was counting, and it was throwing people off because um, one of the ladies that I was talking to, I believe it was Diane, was telling me that she was... Um, she was doing her counting at the same time that I was doing on counting. And so it was throwing her counting off and I couldn't count properly. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do the counting thing while I'm trying to run my mouth at the same time. <laughs> it's like, that does not work. Okay. So I made myself a handy dandy pin cushion. Um, I use the pins usually to hold things in place. The jellyfish, I don't have to do that because, um, if you guys are interested in the jellyfish pattern, I don't have a pattern, but I can show you how I do it so that it it's all one piece. And then all you have to do is just stitch the bottom of it as you stuff it. So usually I will use these, these long pins. You can see how long they are. Um, you can usually get them. I got mine at Hobby Lobby, usually in the wedding section. These were actually silver at one time and they've oxidized. But, um, so I made myself my own little pin cushion, and this is just the pins that I use to piece, um, like my dolls, piece the dolls together. And, you know, that one was holding my needle threader that I'm using. If you guys are interested in these, I do have them in my shop. I'll leave the link to the Etsy below, or you can also purchase them at, um, any craft store usually carries them. I have found that they have been out lately. Uh, but I think they run like $2.99 for one of them. Um, in, um, let's see, I saw them at, I want to say I saw them at Hobby Lobby last time. Um, but anyway, okay, so uh, I have to decide which needle. I use the curved needles, if you can see that, for whenever I'm doing like the dolls. You'll see me use the curved needle for when I'm doing the doll's arms um, for any pieces like that and if you're familiar with doing any kind of piece work for amigurumi you'll know what i'm talking about with these those come in really handy i prefer my shorter needles when i'm doing something like this all right so on my jellyfish like i said with the eyes and the eyelashes i will do the eyelashes first and then put the eye on top of the eyelashes so she has eyelashes, and I try to get them as even as possible, but they don't always turn out that way, but it gives her character. And then when I snap the backs on, I just tie where I did the mouth together, and I tie where I did the eyelashes together, and then just stuff it all back up inside. I do not leave a long tail on the top part of the body because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the tail, the long tail that I use, that I made the bottom for this for. So here's the long tail that I'm going to stitch it with. And all of these, everything you see hanging down, 
or the tentacles. And um, I have a tutorial to show you guys how I did the mini keychains. Um, do I have one handy? I do have them handy here because I've got them all finished. I've got to do a video to show you guys how I did these. Um, and I've still got to put the keychains on. These are the mini ones. These are the mini jellyfish, and I just have to put the keychains on the top and package them for the store. But I do have a tutorial on this. It was going to be an hour long because apparently I just give too much detail. Even though I stopped in between the rows and everything, it still came out to about an hour. Um, it would not let me... It wouldn't let me convert it once I edited it on my computer which really irritated the crap out of me. So I had to break it up into two videos and I do have them labeled part one and part two. Um, but it, I think I've got it labeled as mini jellyfish. You should see it on my how to playlist um, as well as in how to on how to use. If you were interested and you don't know, this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't know how to use one of these needle threaders, I, I actually did a how to on that too. Um, I just want to make sure everybody, not everybody, knows how things work. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to leave anybody out. All right. So here we have, this is the big, the baby jellyfish. And then here's the big jellyfish. Well, Crystal, I hope you do. I would like to see what yours look like. I've, I've used so many different colors of yarns. I've got a bag full of this and then here's another. Um, I was gonna fray the bottom of them. Here's another one. It's just different multicolors, little, and his eyes. Look at the color of his eyes. His eyes are red. Aren't those wicked? I got, oh. He's been on a bender. <laughs> He's been, yeah. His eyes are a little bloodshot. Um, and then I gave this one. This one really has character. I just used different textures of yarn. They turned out so cute. This one has little eyebrows too. And I think I put, he's got brown eyes. He's got brown eyes and eyebrows. <laughs> so something different. Um, and then I did also some sparkly ones. So here's a sparkly one. But, and then it, it's a variegated. It's from that rainbow yarn. It's the same one that I used. Yes, yes, the scraps. Perfect. This is one I used um, when I did the the, uh, the big jellyfish. So, so here's the big jellyfish and here's the mini part of the same scheme. I think I got like two or three of these. Or maybe it was some scrap that I used all this for because I think I made a, <clears throat> a headband for it at one time. But anyway, so I've got, and this one was one I made. I had some leftover 100% cotton that I used. He's got, I think he's got yellow eyes. Yeah, he's got yellow eyes. I had some different colored background eyes for using this. But anyway, so that's, and here's, here's a bigger one. This one, I'm going to put a backpack clip onto it. I just snatched it on there until I could get it attached to the, to the top of it. But I'm going to do a different video. Yes, please do, Crystal. I would appreciate it. That'd be awesome. Okay. So let me put the minis away. And then, like I said, I'll do a quick video. I may do that this weekend and show you guys how I did the mini. Okay, so. Da -da -da. Handy dandy. Needle threader. Okay, so put on the hook. Find my long tail. And ta-da. There we go. All right. So I'm going to leave about, uh, about five inches, four or five inches here. Because it's a really long tail. I wanted to make sure I left myself enough space. And then I have my stuffing, stuffing ready. And I actually broke down and bought another box. Um, I found that Hobby Lobby is the only one that carries the five pound box. Um, and it's only, in Tennessee, it's only $14.99 at Hobby Lobby. Or at least that's what I got it for. And then, um, because this, even though it's cheap at Hobby Lobby, this is only 12 ounces for $2.99, which is cheap. Don't get me wrong. Three bucks for 12 ounces of stuffing is really, really cheap. But when I get five pounds for $14.99, I'm still saving money. I'm saving more money that way. All right, so... 
when you make the jellyfish, um, you're working in the front loop only when you do the, the lacy part of it, the frilly. So what we're going to attach this to is we're going to use the top row of the bottom, if that makes sense, the, the top loop. Instead of going through both loops, you're going to go through the top loop, and then you're going to go through the exposed bottom loop on this one. Just make sure everything's tucked in. Okay, so... And you could just randomly pick anywhere. I prefer that wherever I start and finish, I want it to be the back of my work. So I know this is going to be the front. This is going to be the back. So this is pretty much where I want to start. And then just loop the back, the bottom, and then loop, snag the top. And sometimes, and you want to keep it snug, but not too tight to where it bunches up. And then every now and then, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll take it and I'll let it unwind. But I haven't started yet, so. What you meowing for? Y'all hear him crying? Midnight. What is it, baby? What is it? I'm not in the living room, so he can't sit in my lap. They've been mousing lately. Boo Boo Kitty's over in the corner over here. She's taking a nap over by the window. I'm actually in the craft room. And then you just loop around. There's 48 stitches. You want to make sure you're going all the way around. It's even. And check yourself every now and then just to make sure you haven't skipped any loops because you want it even. You've got 48 stitches on the bottom of the body. And then you've got 48 stitches on the bottom of the base. And I don't start stuffing it until I get about three quarters of the way. Sometimes, for stability, I may put a little wad inside. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll take about this much. And that's really not that much, because you're going to use quite a bit more. So I'll go ahead and stuff. Yeah, he's, they all have distinctive sounds, Crystal. I, he, that was definitely him. Boo Boo Kitty, like I said, she's just out like a light. All right, so now he's got like a top. So now we're going to finish him. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. I've not, I've got a new billboard back there and, and I actually have it. I've got to figure out how I want to, I, I can... If I turn the camera up, you'll see me. You'll see the sign behind me. It says Young Forty Mind Crafts, and then it says Midnight Makes, because I went ahead and did that. But then you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing, what I've got in my hand, because it would it would raise up and probably cut me off for about right here, and you wouldn't see everything from there down. And I can't stitch up like this, so. So, yeah. So, like I said the other day, I decided to start doing this because I am up late at night anyway, usually. Um, my medication just makes my mind not wander, but I get my creative juices flowing. And some of you may feel that too. Um, when you can't sleep late at night, and I used to, I've got little tiny notes everywhere. I've got notepads everywhere from where I have kept notes of different ideas of what I want to do. Um, there's actually a line of stuffed animals that I want to start making, but I've got to do some demos of it first to see how I want it to turn out. I've decided what kind of faces to do on them, but, um, but yeah, that should be fun. I have I have so much I want to do. I have I need to reorganize my craft room. I need to reorganize my bedroom. We've got some stuff that we've got to go through boxes to go through on Goodwill. Matson has her bedroom is right behind me, the door behind me. Matson has I want to say like eight boxes, like huge boxes full of stuff that we're going to sell on eBay because those of you who don't know um, I am a single mom raising a teenager 
at a very late age in my life. Um, and I have a full-time job. I work for a company that sells on eBay at, and um, eBay, Amazon, and Walmart, and also has Discovery Outlet stores in Cleveland, Eastridge, and Chattanooga, um, uh, Hickson. Somewhat better. Oh, Doris, I ha I'm sorry to hear that you have been sick. Those of you who don't know, I had the Rona for a while there, and uh, it kicked my butt for about two weeks. So that that was my my spiel, what I was getting to. Um, that put me out of commission for two weeks. So I'm trying to make up a little bit of extra money. Discovery Outlets used to carry all of my winter makes, hats, scarves, gloves, things like that. And once I made... I made a hundred hats. Y'all know I was trying to make a hundred hats for the store, right? So then they dropped a bomb on me and said, oh, oh, I almost filled this all the way up. Running my mouth. Oh, we've decided that, so I left about a pocket like that. So we've decided that um, the store managers don't want to uh, carry your stuff anymore. They wanted to mark it down and they were already getting a deep discount for it. But it's, it's a, it's a discount store. So get a bunch more. It's a discount store. So you know, I, I can understand that, and it was, it's, it was like scarf and glove sets and things like that, but my babies sold out, my jellyfish sold out, I gave them, I made 50 keychains, um, they were owls, and I made many owls, and, um, minions, I made owls, minions, uh, cookies, strawberries, um, flip-flops. Oh, those flowers, those sunflowers. I made those. Oh, Doris, I'm so sad to hear that. That just, yeah, that was bad. No, thank you, Crystal. No, I, I was very fortunate. Um, I, I did stay in bed for a week of the two weeks. Um, I, it was, it was, it felt like a really bad flu for me. I was very fortunate. Um, I know some people didn't get it as lenient as that. Because some of the girls at the office that had gotten it um, said that, you know, they lost their taste buds or, and then it took them, a, there's some that still aren't right, um, you know, a, a while back. Just, you know, a few months later, they still, still aren't up to par yet. So, yeah, I'm, you know, just the flu symptoms. And the hardest part, y'all, was keeping Maddie away from me. I mean, I told her, I said, pretty much, I said, you're going to have to stay away from me. You're going to have to make your own lunch for school. You're going to have to, and I was so scared. She's a straight A student, and... The way that the school system around here has been lately, if you miss one day of school, you, you're you so far behind. It's just, and she hates missing school. She doesn't want to miss school. So I, I was like, I was so scared that she was going to get it. And that was the biggest thing. Because not only would I was I out for the two weeks that I had to be out, but then if she had gotten it, I would have had to been out two weeks with her as well. Which, y'all... Like I said, single parent, single income, I just, I can't do that. I mean, I would have had no choice, of course, but whew, talk about power of prayer. Y'all, I was on my knees <laughs> and I wanted to make sure God was going to take care of us and he did. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. So I'm not a, I'm not a big religious person, but I do believe in God and I do believe in the power of prayer. And he definitely answered my prayers and took care of me. Oof. Yeah, Crystal, that's the way my boss was.
Thank you, Doris. Yeah. Well, Crystal, you ended up in the hospital, didn't you? We got, we were very fortunate. All right. He's stuffed. And that's it. I got to run my mouth. Read what you guys had. I still have my long tail I have to finish. But here's, here's the bottom. And um, you really can't tell it. It looks really good. Um, so that's what I do. I do it. I did the two separate pieces and then I just put those two together. How I used to do it was the way this one is done. This is one I found that I thought I was going to finish filling up. I'm going to show you how to hide the tail here in a second on that one. So how I used to do it was, let me get this out of here. I did the top. I did the, I did the, the frill, the lace, the ruffle. And then you, halfway through, you'd put on the eyes and the mouth. And then you would stuff and decrease. And as you decreased, you stuffed. So you would have this as a piece. And then you would have all these pieces. Well, I'm glad you're back to normal, Crystal. I was worried about you because I know it, it's hard... It, you don't want to tell people what's going on, but yet you want them to understand why you're not here because we are online. Well, I was gonna say, you're online a lot more than I am. Uh, I'm going to try to fix that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, when you're used to seeing someone, you get worried about them when you don't see them. And so it's like, are you okay? What's wrong? But, and you want to tell them, you know, what's going on, but you don't want to give them too much detail. And, you know, we have a private life too. All right, so I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm laying these out. So I'm going to show you the pieces. Now, these are still the same pieces that go to this. It's just separate. The pieces are separate. All right, so this is what the center piece looks like. Let me pull the tails out for the jellyfish. So here's what the center piece looks like. On the jellyfish his is hiding in the middle there's his on this one okay and then you have six of these little tendrils and then after you stitch them on there the way I used to do it you would take these and pull them back through because, you know, jellyfish don't have just the bigger tentacles. They also have these little tiny things that hang down. In fact, I was watching a, a survivor a while ago, and I know they did a little scene where they were swimming with the jellyfish. And so, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, mine had these little tentacles, too, because I never saw a pattern that had that, too. So mine has all three different sizes. I've got the center big one. I've got the spiral ones on the edges, and then I've got all the little tentacles that hang down. But this one takes forever. It, it really does. It's And I'm so underpricing these. Okay, so I'll tell you. My I get $10 a piece for these. Okay. Their markup, but they also collect tax on it and everything. Their markup, they sell them for $14.99. So they make a little profit on top of paying me because I get paid quarterly of what sells. I give them a bunch of stuff and then they sell it and as they sell it I can look online and track it and then every every three months I get a, I get a paycheck. Uh, I say a paycheck, I get a payout because I have to I have to pay a 1099 on that. Um, I gotta pay taxes on it. Well hello how are you? Thank you for joining us. I know it's late. All right. So now that I have gone ahead. Oh, oh that, that really, that was bright. I've gone ahead and put the tail in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave in. I go with the grain of whatever. Y'all can't see me do this. That's why I say I wish I had the camera like right here. I go with the grain of the. 
the stitching. You'll see, see how this has like a line going here? You'll see the little lines going here. So I'll weave back and forth because the tail is so long. I'll go back and forth. I'll go down from the bottom. I'll come up through the top and I don't pull it real tight. I just pull it until it disappears and then kind of smish it around so it's flat and you can't tell where it was. And then I'll take it and go at an angle from where I came out. So where did I come out? Right there. Okay, so I'll go at an angle and go back in here and go across. Where's my, where are you at? Right there and then come out up there. Now I'm squishing it for right now, but now I'm going to release it. And then I'm going to pull it just till it disappears and then kind of, kind of take your needle and fluff it back out. So you can't see where it was. So now we're back over here. And I'll do that about three or four times up at the top and then I'll go back down at the bottom just so it disappears. I'm going to go back at the bottom and then come out somewhere, somewhere down here. Make sure that's going to disappear and not pucker. All right, so now that I've come out the bottom, I'm going to go and find a spot maybe across on the other side. Nope, too many tentacles there. Oh, there's a good spot. You want to kind of even out the little tentacles. So then I'm just going to release that. I'm not going to tie it off. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to clip it. And now we have our completed little jellyfish. And then what I'll do is I'll push it back up through the bottom with my thumbs to push the stuffing more up here. And then kind of shape it. But he's done. So all he needs now is a ribbon. And I've got, what have I got? I've got some ribbons up here. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's even prettier. I forgot about all these different. Oh, now see, now this will be perfect. Look at that. So what I'll do is I'll string a ribbon because a lot of people, I've, I've had some people tell me that they want to um, hang them in their cars. I've had people buy them and hang them in their cars. Or they hang them in their bathroom. I have one lady bought three for me, different colors, so she could hang them in her bathroom as a conversation piece. That was kind of fun. So yeah, so I, I try to get a matching uh, ribbon to go with the top of it and I will weave in the ribbon. I'll take a needle that's got a wider uh, eye and I'll weave in the ribbon from here to here across from the eyes. From here to here, from about the second row, I mean, yeah, from where my six is, from here to here, I'll tie it and then I'll try to weave the knot from the tie of the ribbon underneath the center so that you can't see the knot and then I have it hid I got you crystal <laughs> I understood all right yay one down ten more to go I think I have a total of 20 that I've done already then I got quiet it's time for some tea. Running my mouth. Okay. So next, now let's do a baby. Let's do a baby. All right. Camo. Glitter. Or browns. Which one should I do? Good night, Crystal. See you tomorrow. Do the camouflage one. Okay. Doris was the first one that popped up, so we're going to do the camouflage. Camouflage baby has brown skin. We have brown skin, white skin, and kind of a brownish olive. I'm trying to work with different um, um, skin tones. Um, I've got a pink I want to do. I've got a purple, and I've got a blue. I don't have those babies ready. And I'm not going to do any stuffing. All I'm going to do is put parts together. So we're going to do the camouflage one. So I will get these out of the way. 
All right. So again, I do this in one piece. You can see where I do it in one piece on this. Um, I, in the last Midnight Makes, I did include inside the video clip um, where I got the idea to make these. Um, like I said, she does it in, she does the hat, she does the body, she does the head, and then she does the two arms. And she also does another video. That was six years ago she made that video. And then about a year ago she made another video, and I don't know if it was just an updated version of it, but she did another video that shows you how to piece everything together. Um, so I have... I have my really long needle that I'm going to use. And then, so I will, I will put on the arms first. And I always make sure I have a really long tail. They are pre-stuffed. Okay. So, how I do this is, and I will use, I will use my pins just to make sure. I take where the seam is, where the yarn colors were joined and I make sure that I put that on the side hiding it up against the body of the baby so I'm going to go ahead and I'll go down maybe one two three about to the third row of where the color has changed where I'll put the arm so I'm going to put in I've got the long pin needles and like I said where you can get these guys um, I just put it at an angle so I don't stab myself. I'm going to put two of them in there. I got these um, in the wedding section. They use these for like um, boutonnieres. So I know I want my arm about right there. So now I'm going to turn it towards me and I'm going to put the other one in. And you can stitch these again where the where that joins. That's where I know I want to put that up against the body. And again, you're going to put it about... One, two, three, about the third one down. And if you're not sure, you want to get it kind of centered. Again, with the, with the hat pins. I guess the hat pin, that's what they're called. They're called hat pins. But they also use them for flowers, too. All right, so I'm looking at it, and I know it's basically where I need it to be by putting in the pins. Now, because I'm using the longer needle, this one is like, it's like really, really long. I actually have some that are longer than this. Let me pull this other one out. Yeah, this one, this is the one that I really like to use. Look how long that sucker is. Can you see it? It's, it's like at least three inches long. It will go all the way through. And that's why I like these needles. Oh, it hides you. Something fell over here and I don't know what it was. Okay, so now that I know where I want it to be, and you can kind of eyeball as you're doing it. Oops, I thought I went right. You can kind of eyeball it because you know you want it to be like in the center here. You kind of judge it. And you want it asymmetrical. All right, so now that I know that's where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and leave my pins in, but I am going to thread this. Let me pick up my threader. Now, what I do with my threader is there's a hole right here. This one I keep on my pin cushion so I don't lose it. I've got like 50 of these all over the house. The other ones that I have, I have like um, stitch markers attached to it or I have um, a, uh, a weaved string or I have beads or I have a chain. I have it attached to something. I have one like this is attached to a pair of scissors so I don't lose my pair of scissors. All right, so I'm going to do this. And because this eye is a little bit thinner too, it the needle threader helps a lot because you can't just, uh, it would take forever. My eyes, you guys know my eye, um, my right eye is really bad. So I can't judge to see, to poke it through myself anyway. All right, so let's put this over here. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm going to pinch these pieces together. They're exactly where I want them to be. I'm 
going to leave in the pin for right now. So I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to, because it's so long, it's great. So I'm going to take the needle. I'm going to poke it all the way through to the other side to come out on the other arm. And I'm only going to do a, just like a, um, a stay stitch just just to, to put it in place and then I'm going to go back with a smaller needle and I'm going to actually attach it closer to the body but for right now what this is going to do it's just going to cinch oh, I can pull it there we go because you're working with yarn but this is going to and you have two tails. You've got one on the other side, too. This is going to kind of mark it in place to where it won't move. You know that it's in the right place. I'm going to come across to the other side of the arm. Back through. And poke it through this side. So that I can take my, my stay pins out. Okay. So now I know I can take my stay pins out. I'm calling them stay pins because it's helping them stay where they need to be. And it's semi-tacked down. So we know this is where the arm's going to be, the stuffing showing, whatever. But you know that's where they're going to be. They're not going to move. That's where they're going to be. And then this way, before you permanently stitch them down, you can judge and make sure that's where you want them to be. Now, when the hat comes on, I know this is where I want it to be, about the second or third down. I want to thank you guys again for joining me tonight. I think this is a great idea. I think it's fun. I'm going to switch my needles because I don't need the long one anymore. So I'm going to use my little short one again. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, I am Alicia with Young 40 Mom Crafts, but if you're watching me, you probably already know that. <laughs> if you're watching on the replay, please say hi. Let me know. Okay, so now I'm just going to stitch back and forth. Baby blanket for my niece. She's doing. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love the babies. I love the babies. My first husband and I tried. We were married for 17 years. Tried to have kids. Finally, after year 10 of being married, we said, okay, let's find out why. Let's find out why we haven't had any kids because we're not using any type of contraceptive and we really want to have kids. I think he would have been a wonderful father. But when we were tested, we found out that... He could not have kids. So it broke my heart because that's all I, I wanted to have kids. And I wanted to have kids with this man. I think it would have been wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift its arm up and I'm going to tack down the other side of the opening to the body. And then this way you can either let it have movement or you can do it closer to the body if you want it closer to the body. It's up to you how you want your tension on that. But, um, so yeah, so we decided, um, you know, I, I prayed and I cried and I prayed and I cried and I was like, okay, if this is what you want me to do, if this is what I'm supposed to do and how it's supposed to be, then I'll just spoil all the other kids in the world. And we had thought about adoption and, um, the military was going to pay for one round of IVF. And so he was like, nope, if I can't have them naturally, I don't want them. And I was like, oh man, okay, well, I, you know. I can't make you have kids, so so I didn't have any kids with him. So we split um, after he got out of the military. That's a long story. I think I explained it at one point. Um, but anyway, so we can, didn't have any kids together. Um, long story short, got divorced, met the uh, soon-to-be ex-husband, uh, Navy mom and sister. Well, you know, I, I praise the, the family members that endure um, our men and women in the service uh, going out, the, our, our, our loved ones. It's really hard on the families. Um, but anyway, I know I'm, I'm rambling because that's what I do late at night. So we have one arm done. 
I went ahead and moved it to the other side. So here we have the one arm. And you can adjust. That's why I like putting the two pieces and making it one piece because you can you can twist and adjust and you can stuff and push the stuffing down and you can squish them around. Yes, I was an army wife for 12 years. Um, I was a, well, not a service brat. My dad was in the service when I was little, but he got out before I could remember that. All right, so there we go. I made this one where it's kind of down. And then you want to kind of, I know it looks kind of odd right now, but once I get this one on, you'll see they're going to be kind of together. They'll be about the same. So... Now that I have pulled this one over, I'm going to use it to stitch because this is how it started out. We actually used this same yarn to stitch both sides. And she explains it. I'm going in very detailed depth on how to do this. Um, she just gives you the basics. And if that's all you need, that's fine. Um, if you click on the link in the... I think it was Monday night I got on here for Midnight Makes. If you click on the link for Monday night's Midnight Makes um, that I put in there for where I got the idea for the baby doll, um, the Sleepy Time Baby, you can um, find her other tutorial that shows you the basics on how to stitch the arms together. And this is looking kind of... Kind of wonky. I'm constantly going back and forth when I do these usually uh, to make sure that I've got them equal and even and that they're up and down where they need to be. And I think how she tells, she puts it together. Is that Kivia? Hi. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Of course, now this is only the second time I've done a real live, like a real one, <laughs> like like I've actually been on here and talked to people and done something while I was talking. Um, but this is going to be something I'm going to do on a regular basis, I think. Um, like I said, I'm I'm up late at night anyway, and if you guys are up late at night too in your area or or actually on the the west coast, it's not too late there. It is. What time is it here? It is. Oh, oh gosh, it's almost one o'clock already. I have been on here for an hour already. You are kidding me. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm just weaving in this other tail. And I'm going to go ahead and snip off that little bit. So then I'm going to take the other arm. The other arm. Well, I got to do a jellyfish anyway. So if you guys are interested in watching the replay... You're in Texas. Okay, so it's almost midnight there. You're in that out too. Well, cool. I plan on doing these two, three nights a week. Maybe more. I don't know. Definitely two or three nights a week. I'm going to come on for about an hour um, every night and pretty much just uh, do midnight makes. Exactly what that is. So if you want to chat with me and have a project handy to be working on while I'm talking to you and you're talking to me, then... Uh, yeah, that'd be great. I have to work in the morning. My alarm starts going off at 6.30. I snooze till 7. <laughs> I don't have to be at work till 8. It takes me 12 minutes to get to the office. As long as I have my coffee and my shower, I'm good to go. Because my showers don't take but 15 minutes anyway. Um, Y'all know I wear my hair in a bun. Oh, I do too. Almagurumi, I... We, I discovered it later in life. And, oh, I, I didn't finish my story about my child. Um, I discovered Amagurumi later in life. It was after my daughter was already bigger, which I had wished I had done these when I was, when she was younger. Because she would have so many toys. And I never really ventured into clothes back then either, like I am now. Um, so I wish I had done that. I wish I had done that. So I'm now I just make for everybody else. Um, I don't have my sweaters in my Etsy shop yet. I have my babies on, and all my other stuffed animals and my play food and all that. Um, I have all that in the Discovery Outlets. Um, but that's probably going to be changing, I'm sure. So we're getting there. I'm getting there. 
I secure it on either end just to make sure it's not going anywhere. I do it on either end of the arms. I do it under the arms. I want to make sure whoever plays with this, but usually people buy these for novelty. I want to make sure whoever's going to play with this, um, if they want to play rough with it, it's not going to fall apart. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no. Get down. Y'all, I got four cats and the chihuahua. Uh-uh. All right, you can get up there. Over to this side of me, I have two layers of totes with a blanket on the top of it. There's windows in the corner over here, and the cats like to get on top of it. Yeah, the babies are fun to make. I am, I enjoy it. I like, and here's the thing. I like playing around with the different textures of yarn, um, the different sizes of yarn, which, you know, you, you can it, change around the size. You can change around the face. You can change around. It's very forgiving, these patterns. That's why I love, I love Amigurumi because you can change the faces around. You can change all kinds of things around. I'm just weaving my my ends in all over the body so they don't have to tie it off. Hooked on Wishing Crochet. Oh, I like that name. Hi, welcome. I'm actually not going to be on here much longer, but thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, I've been on uh, I've been on for about an hour now. Um, I'm gonna after I, I'm, I am gonna go ahead and stitch on the hat since I, I told you guys I would finish finish one or two of these. So I got the jellyfish done. If you didn't get to join us, the jellyfish we put together. Here's the jellyfish that we pieced together, and uh, the little tentacles, and then we've got the main tentacle underneath there. So he just needs a remit, and he's ready to go in the shop. Now we gotta put the hat on. The sleepy time baby. Now, something I do that that the lady, that, like I said, I can't think. I can't. It's like Olga, I think, or oh, I can't think of her name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, thank you. There. Yes, I like the the eyelashes. I think they turned out really cute, right? And these are sixteen millimeter eyes too. Um, okay, so with the way she does hers, she puts the hat on the head because all of her pieces are separate. She puts the hat on the head, then she attaches the head, then she attaches the arms. I do it backwards. I make this all one piece. I attach the arms. And then I attach the hat. But when I attach the hat, I do it in a way to where I just do it attached to the, not the head. She attaches the hat all the way around to the head. I attach the hat only to the bottom so that it can be pulled off like a hoodie. So I make it functional. You're going to you're going to you'll see it here in a minute. It, but it's so cute. It turns out so cute. Well, cool. You do the, so you do the rough, yeah. Oh, you do the hoodie. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just think it's it's just more cute. Okay, so you're going to want to stuff his head. And here's again, the count, 48. 48 here, then reduce. 48 here, 48 here. Um, that way you know the hat's going to fit. And if you didn't want to do it that way, you could always do the hat like a brown. You could do it a different color. You can play around with it. You can give it stripes if you didn't want to do it. I mean, you can just change it all different ways. It's so awesome. Oh, hi, Lori. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to get to see you guys more. I, I think I'm going to do more lives than I am going to do videos anymore because... Number one, I'm enjoying the interaction with you guys better. Um, I will not be doing any more yarn hauls anytime soon. Find some green camo and blue camo. 
I've seen blue camo. I can't remember where. The green camo, I got, I want to say I got it, it was a super saver. I want to say I got it at Walmart, maybe? And then Joanne's had it. So it's hard to find. So if you ever find the, the blue camo or the green camo, you want to make sure you get it as soon as possible. And there's this, the hat. I love the hat. So cute. All right. So sit you on the way you want it. I have mine come down to about right here. And then uh, my tail is really, really long. I want it to start about right above the nape of where the neck is. Like right like the bottom of where an ear would be. And then I start attaching it to right here to the head. And then I go down and I come around the bottom about the second row of the collar. And then I'll come back up till about right here. Um, I want to say one, two, three, maybe about the fourth row, the fourth row up to the neck. And then that way, it's a hoodie. So cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Um, where did I put my needle? There it is. All right. And my needle threader, I keep losing. Like I said, I usually have these on a, on a chain or a stitch marker or something like that attached. It's so awesome. I love this. I'm telling y'all, you need to get you one of these. I used, I originally got them because I needed this for my, um, the little end for when I did my cross stitch, but the big end is perfect for weaving in ends. And also too, it's really good to have one of these because if you have, say for instance, you have a tail like that, it's hard to stitch, put a needle on that. Um, when it, say for instance, it's coming out of the body of something or it's coming out of your makes and you want to hide the tail rather than clip it off, you want to hide it. What you can do is weave your needle into your project, put the hook into the eye of the needle, put the little tiny sliver of yarn on that, pull it through and then pull your needle through. And then you don't have to worry about that tail anymore. Just an idea. Let me hide this. And like I said, if you guys are interested in uh, in these needle threaders, they're so, like I said, they're so awesome. I can't live without mine. And I've got them all over the house. Um, but I, when I really need one, I can't find one. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then pretty much you're just going to do a whip stitch. You're going to do it close to the body. Not too tight, but firm. You want to make sure you get either the top loop or both loops. And just oh, move that in. Make sure. I'm going to mumble while I'm doing this because I want to make sure I've got it in the right spot. And I double check myself. All right. But yeah, you can get the needle threaders. Um, Hobby Lobby carries them. I think Michaels carries them every now and then. Uh, and if you can't find them in your local craft shop, I do have them in my Etsy shop. Um, the link will be below for the Etsy shop. I also have a how-to to show you how to use one if you're not familiar with them. So I'm going to do it at the base of the neck. Yeah, there we go. And I try to get every single row. Oops. <laughs> the arm wanted to go with it. Uh, no, don't do that. And then, uh, but anyway, so I was talking about my daughter uh, being a single parent with a, oops, with one income. So I try to do some extra makes on the side and I sell my goods um, or I sell my patterns. Um, I don't have any uh, crochet patterns, but I have, I have cross stitch patterns. And since my vision in my right eye is gone, um, I cannot do 
crochet, uh, cross stitch patterns anymore. So I guess I'll venture on into doing crochet patterns. There we go. So you kind of get the idea. So he's got a hoodie. So you can put it on and off whenever you want. I've got to. Now that I've got my stitching in, I've got to get my tail done. You were mumbling. <laughs> oh my gosh, I understand. This is about the 30 or 40th baby I've made. Um, I sell them in the, the stores. Actually, I started selling them locally to people that I worked with. They were like, oh, that's so cute. Will you make me one? And so I started taking custom orders for different colors, which is really nice. Thank you, Doris. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I will, I will do a tutorial and I will show you guys how I make it all one piece. Oh, you decided to jump up there after all, huh? That's Ellie Belly. She's our fat cat. Okay, all right, let me hide my tail, and then I will show you the finished product. Now, whenever I would make my bears, that's what I started out with with Amigurumi. I started out making, oops, we didn't want to do that, did we? No, Alicia, you ding dong. If you run your mouth and you're talking and you realize you don't want to attach it to the head, oh my goodness. I was hiding the tail, I'm hiding it in the wrong spot, so I'm just gonna have to take it all out. Just, just this part of it that's stuck to his head. I got, I gotta get that part out. Come on, this is why. Oh, there we go. That's why you use knitted sweater. Can't see. Um. Anyway, okay. So long story short, my daughter. I had her right before my 40th birthday. So I finally got to have my baby. Well, actually, I had a pregnancy three months before that. Um, my first husband wasn't going to divorce me. I told him I was pregnant. Um, so then he signed the divorce papers. That was the only way he would sign them. And so I could remarry. So I could marry um, the father of the twins. Had a miscarriage two months later when my divorce was final from my first husband. Um, I got pregnant with Maddie. So she's my rainbow baby. And uh, I wish I had known how to do all this back then because I would have just made her all kinds of stuff. So I ventured out and I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try this. I didn't like it at first. Um, it can be kind of fiddly. You guys know that do Amigurumi. And those of you who are scared of Amigurumi, once you get the hang of it, it's really, really simple. The stitching is so simple. It's just a matter of how many counting. It takes a lot of counting and... I'm just weaving in my ends. Okay. It takes a lot of counting. If you lose your place, you're screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, start moving. So, you should move that to the other end of the way. Just the last minute for him. See, and that's good to have. It's good to have some extras on hand because you never know when you might need them. Um, okay. He's done. There's my, there's my baby. Oh. Ooh. Throat got dry. That's a good idea. There was somebody that spoke earlier. <coughs> Please forgive me. I, I'm, I'm trying to read these as they're going along on my tablet. And I'm blind in my right eye. So I'm having to see with the left. And because it's getting so late. <coughs> excuse me. In the day. Um, my left eye is blurry. And that's the good one. So I'm barely being able to read these anymore. Okay. So we have the back. With the hood. We got the front. Put the hood on. Oh, sleepy time baby. Yeah. So tonight's midnight makes. We made jellyfish and the baby well we didn't make it we put it together <laughs> handmade designs hi i'm actually fixing to get off of here because i need to get up at 6 30 um but i will be back tomorrow's friday 
<coughs> excuse me, I will be with Crystal, the Yarny Chicken, and Crazy Cat Lady, and there's somebody else that's going to be on there with us as well. Um, I will be on her channel live tomorrow night at 7 Eastern Standard Time. Ramsey's at my feet, which means he has to go potty, so I need to go anyway. Hi, uh, oh, I wish you joined us earlier. So, yeah, um, so be looking for me, guys, in the future at midnight, um, is when I will be getting on. So, maybe 11.30, I will let you know. I'm going to try to start leaving messages so that you guys will know when I'm coming. I know, honey. I'm about to get... Hang on, okay? Hang on. Oh, y'all, Ramsey's driving me nuts. All right, so we got two babies done. We got a lot more to do, so I've got a lot more midnight makes to do. So, we've got these two babies that we got to finish putting together. We've got a crap ton of jellyfish to put together. And so, I'm going to leave this the way it is. I will see you guys tomorrow night if you join me at Crystal's. I know, and he's growling at me now. I got my little chihuahua. You can stop now. I know. You got to go potty? You got to go outside? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my life and joining the, and, and sharing this time with me. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Peace out. Keep it real.